Hello everyone and welcome back to Extro Bio. Today's video is about one of the most trending yet controversial AI chatbot, Grok of Elon Musk. We will see what Grok is, how it is different from ChatGPT, why it is trending and so controversial that Indian government is trying to put restrictions over it, and lastly, how users should approach it. So first, let's understand what Grok AI is. Grok is basically an AI chatbot similar to ChatGPT with which you can chat or ask questions and get answers in a conversational way. This was developed by XAI, which is a company founded by Elon Musk. Earlier, Grok was integrated with X or Twitter platform, but recently it is launched as a standalone application that anyone can use even without an account on X and without paying any subscription fee. It is a popular chatbot that has real-time access to web, including the posts and comments on X, which makes it possible to get most updated information on any topic. Coming on to the most important question, why Grok is so trending and reasons for controversies. Grok has become an AI sensation, sparking global controversy with its bold and unfiltered responses. Its casual, slang filled and humorous style encourages users to ask questions about corruption, politicians, celebrities and corporate giants. However, unlike JetGPT or Google's Gemini, which avoids answering controversial questions about people, finance, law, medicine and other sensitive subjects, Grok provides unfiltered answers to almost any question. This is where the serious controversies arise. Grok replies to nearly every question asked, analyzing all accessible internet information regardless of accuracy, correctness, or credibility. For example, when Grok was asked a hypothetical question about which Indian politician it should arrest for spreading communal hatred, it replied with the names of several respected ministers. This is something any other AI tool would refrain from answering. This illustrates how unfiltered responses can have serious consequences. In response to another question, it listed several TV channels and reporters as biased towards the ruling party. Usually AI chatbots refrain from answering controversial questions, but this is not the case with Grok. Grok can produce images that manipulates reality. It can place real people in situations or depicting actions they never did. This can harm individuals' rights and social image. Also, I would like to insist everyone to be responsible and not to blindly believe on everything you see on the internet, whether it is someone's voice, image or video. Anything can be generated using AI and sometimes it becomes extremely hard to tell if it is AI generated or real. Another concern is getting abusive replies. But this is usually observed when the one who is asking the question gets abusive because it is trying to understand different language and the context of the conversation. It interprets its underlying meaning and replies in the exact same way the user has asked a question. Croak mimics the exact emotion and tone of the person it is chatting with. So next time when you use Croak, don't be abusive or rude with it. And due to these reasons, namely unfiltered responses on any subject, abusive replies, lack of credibility of the referred sources is making it important for government to regulate the Croak's AI generated responses as this may lead to a spread of misinformation across the internet which might have severe social, regional and political consequences and may even escalate global tensions. In response, a lawsuit was filed by the Elon's company against the central government of India alleging the misuse of IT Act to block the crock generated content as he advocates that this would hamper the freedom of his speech. But we have to see where it goes. So that's all for today. I would like to know from you if it is right to get unfiltered responses from Grok or there must be some kind of regulation by the government over it. Do let me know in the comments for what purpose you would like to use Grok. And for more videos on different AI tools, do not forget to subscribe to Explore Bio.